And it's like, once again, the people that have let go, that have been last year, that were not the first class to be. <laughs> we are the product of my day, in many, many ways. And it's all never more so. Whenever the night of crisis uh, involved on our doorstep, this was a crisis for anyone that doesn't know, because I know there's lots of dissatisfied, dissatisfied factions of society here today. We're the faction that is living in broken homes. We are the faction when we talk about things like cost of living, which I'm not to, things like keeping our homes. You have no idea what you're up against if you're not living in a mega or pirate affected home. It's akin to you that don't have it. Turning on your heat system, opening your windows, opening, to me. opening your doors, and wondering why the house doesn't be warm, why your bills go through the roof. That's what we're living in. Seven thousand on the wall, two thousand on the mail, we have two or three hundred in Spiegel. We have where five or six hundred with temporary. It's all happening. And it's down that way to receive more, but I've got news for you. Thirteen out of the twenty-six counties in the Republic of Ireland now have the fact that the property we lost. We warned you. We said this we were not low. We said for those counties yet to be discovered. That's the process that happened. This government are running scared because of the law. They know what the law is going to look like. But the bill was completely avoidable. So we told them back in 2014 that their standards were inadequate, that the light touch regulation that was introduced to satisfy the big businesses during the county higher was costing them, you know, Heaps of money in the long run. And that was really a 2.7 billion euro scheme in that was not for society. They ignored what they tried to tell them. And now, you know, taxpayers will pay for that for the next generations to come. So it's an absolute scandal. But let's talk about scandal. If you want to get to the bottom of a scandal, a scandal, follow the money. And look at the cost of the money. See you well. If you want to get to the bottom of what's wrong, you look at the CEOI, conflicts of interest. That's what drove the Catholic Tiger. That's what drove light torch regulation. That's what drove them. That's what drove them to refuse to tackle the big conflicts that were prepared to dump them cheap, stack them high, squad them on to unknown homeowners. And that's what happened to the money all. And for both the 13 at least out of 26 counties. Now, we then look at the conflict of interest and we look at our political system and I'm wondering where it might all go off. We look at the national standard of the part of the Ireland that was responsible for ensuring that our blocks uh, were better for purpose. And then we look at who's behind it and we've got the party in there. That part of the stakeholders, my God, have a conflict of interest. We then look at other things the likes of NTV here in Ireland, who again have a lot of say in this, and they're going to be paid handsomely for the testing of our houses. So on and on it goes. The topic of interest is going to destroy this country. And I worry for how that will be tackled in the long run. But what I will say is this we look and we break it up into small pieces that we can understand. I'll take it on you all, or it's all here, as an example, and I'm sure there's no record elsewhere. We look at what we elected in five TDs to represent us. One of them is a minister for agriculture and marine and food. You would have thought you couldn't have asked for better. He's four mice as a drove mice for Florida. His own family is affected by Micah. And yet, around the cabinet table, what will the able to secure? That all. He has, he has a situation where we put forward loads of cost neutral options that were going to be of massive importance to owners, and he couldn't even secure that. Charlie Mahomet, more like Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Let's go to the 
you know, when I asked the last door, we're still doing the cooking into the chamber from feeding the ball to the Vince Gale. We had Foxy Joe Hughes that came along with a very pre-calculated, pre-agreed, one-time vote against the government, knowing full well it was never going to change the outcome. But what it will do is possibly secure a legacy for them that will be seen favour of the white people. But we weren't bought by that a year ago.
and who you are at this point, the one you don't know what you're doing wrong. But what I want you to do is walk through March through the open day, make sure you're heard, make sure you're seen, and as a whole world seen, we have the right to fight.